Hey guys, today I am going to automate the movement of the snake in the classic snake game. You can see the final result on the screen right now. I will use the A star algorithm for this. Hi, my name is Ashwani. Welcome to my channel. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, then please do subscribe it and hit the bell button so that you can get the notification whenever I post a new video. In my previous video, I created the snake game from scratch using JavaScript. If you have not watched that video, then I highly recommend you to watch it. The link is in the description. That being said, let's move on to make an AI snake. I will upload the source code to the GitHub repository. The link will be in the description. A star algorithm is a wonderful algorithm to find the shortest optimal path between two points. You can read more about A star algorithm on Wikipedia. On the canvas, first, we need to have a grid to visualize the snake's movement better. Let's say we have a 5x5 five five grid, which looks like that. Our grid has x-axis, which will be the j-index on our grid array, and y-axis, which will be the i-index. The cells on our grid have a width and height of 20 pixels. Let's say on our grid, the snake's head is at the index 3,2 and the food is placed at 1,1. And we have 4 neighbor cells to our snake. To find the shortest optimal path, we need to use the equation which is f of x equals to g of x plus h of x. Let's calculate the value of f for the cell 3,2 to understand this equation better. The g value is the distance between the nodes. So from 3,2 to itself the distance is 0. So g of 3,2 will be 0. Now the h value is the distance from the node to the goal. We can calculate the distance using the Pythagorean theorem. So the h of 3,2 will be 44.72. Now f of 3,2 will be 44.72 and these are the values that the cell will hold. Now to implement a star algorithm in our code, we need to have two arrays which are open set and close set. We will put the grid 3, 2 which is our start node in the open set array and then we'll start a loop. Now a variable named current will hold the first index of open set array and then we will remove this object from open set and put it in close set array. Now we will calculate the f values of all the neighbors of the cell which the variable current holds and after that we will put all these neighbors in the open set if they are not in it. Now the neighbor with lowest f value will be placed on the zero index of the open set and then the loop will run again. This loop will break when either the variable current is the goal node which means that the path has been identified or when there are no more nodes in the open set array left which would mean that there is no path to the goal. When this loop will break then we will backtrace the closed set array to find the path. Now let's check out how it works. Yes, it's not perfect. The A star algorithm finds the shortest optimal path and when the snake becomes so large that it occupies most of the cells on the grid, then this algorithm fails. That's it guys. If you like to see the source code, then check out my GitHub repository.
If you like the video then please hit the like button I'll see you in the next video